Our next speaker is uh, Terry Brady. He was born in Scotland, grew up in Ireland uh, before coming to the United States 52 years ago. Although he's a registered Democrat, uh, he votes for the right person regardless of the party. Now, check this out. He grew up with the socialist government and he doesn't want to see it here. Imagine that. And you know what? I think he has a few thoughts on this value-added tax crap that he wants to inform us on. Mr. Terry, bring it, brother. Don't give it up for Terry, come on. Tonight I want to talk to you people about the value-added tax. Most people, we call it in Europe the, the VAT tax. You can call it any name you want to. But it's going to affect every individual that buys anything in a grocery store. Everybody says on television, oh, it's only going to hurt the guy that buys a boat or a big fancy car. Let me tell you something. They tax your car, they tax your gasoline, they tax the milk you buy in the grocery store, they tax everything. Everything that you buy, if you go to the grocery store and buy a hundred dollars worth of goods, in, in Ireland today, the ballot added tax is 21%. So you figure out on top of your grocery bill what it's going to cost you. And if you look over Europe, everybody is between 20 and 25% the ballot added tax. And if you think this government is not going to do the same thing to us, think again. It's coming. Well, I can tell you what to do. I've been here a long time in this country. And let me tell you something. Everybody needs to get out to the polls. Since the day I become a citizen of this country, I have voted in every election in this country. And people need to get off the dairy air and get out there, as everybody said up here, and sweep these people out of office. Thank you very much. Ooh. All right, Terry Brady. Woo. He's not part of the Brady Bunch, is he? Hey, uh, our next speaker is uh, Ari Waldron. It says here, I think it's a typo, it says she's 15 years in, as a freshman in high school. I thought I'm the only one that did that. It says she's a straight A student. I'm thinking, well, she's 15 years as a freshman. You, you figure you get straight A's eventually. But I think it's uh, she's a 15-year-old freshman. That's what I think it is. Uh, she teaches Taekwondo and has a fourth degree black belt. She's an active church member. She's secretary of Generation Joshua, <laughs> a teen Christian political group. Hey, Christians, come become political. Yeah. God doesn't, God doesn't care. Step into the fray, Nancy. Politics uh, affects how we live. It affects your religious liberty. And thank God a 15-year-old girl's doing it. Maybe you ought to, Pastor. Humongous! I'm talking lots of love, South Florida welcome for Ari Waldron. How are you guys doing out there tonight? Alright. I see a lot of you out there tonight. Holy cow. A lot of you looked a little shocked. I know what you're probably thinking. Teenager on the stage. Tea party, 9-12. Why? Is this a joke? Are you serious? No! I like you guys. No, it's not a joke. The 912 members asked me last week to make a speech and come up here tonight to talk to you guys. I was thinking, what would they want me to talk about? What possibly could adults want me to talk about to a bunch of other adults? Would they think, is this just another kid? Come on. That's when I knew what my subject would be. Last week in geography class, we watched a movie called Pay It Forward. How many of you guys seen that movie? Good movie, huh? Now, we're introduced to Mr. Simonette in his seventh grade class, and they asked, Mr. Simonette asked them, what does the world expect of you? Now, the main character, 12-year-old Trevor, answered nothing. 
As ridiculous as that may seem, it's surprisingly true. The world doesn't expect anything from kids. Sure, we go to school, get good grades, clean your room, make curfew, but is that it? That's all we're expected to do? That's our job until we're 18? No! Do we have a voice in this world? Yeah! Kids, teens, you do have a voice. Heck, why can't we do something about it? Yeah. This is our country too, right? Yeah. We're gonna be the leaders of tomorrow. before it's beginning. The health care bill has passed. Taxes are going up and our constitutional rights are being taken away before our eyes. Last time I checked, this is the free land. We are still a democracy. We get to vote on what we want. What are we going to do about it? Are you going to let someone else take care of it? get done. People want to change, but we're too afraid of the risk to take it. Kids, are we going to let our country be sacrificed because of what people think because of our age? Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young, but you set the example in life and faith and speech and impurity. 1 Timothy 4.12. Make a difference. Make the world step back and look at you. We already know that if we come together, we can make a difference. How do we get Scott Brown elected in Massachusetts? The people spoke. We said no. They didn't want to listen to us. They tried reconciliation. Does anybody else see the red flag up there? The government's supposed to be representing us, not taking control. We don't want this, and yet the government went against us anyway. I don't know about you, but I don't like being pushed around. I wish I could say I was the sweet, angelic kind of girl that, you know, can stay a little sweet piece of humble pie when I'm pushed around, but I'd be lying. You push down what I believe in, you're saying you want a piece of me. Will you let someone else put down what you believe in, or will you stand up for what's right? Here's another thing you might be asking. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I'm one person. Can I really make a difference? Yeah. Hannah was one person. Look what she did. There is no excuse. You can make a difference. You come together, you let your voice be known, nothing can stop you. There are so many ways to get involved. Support your local candidates. Join the 912 group. Kids, join Generation Joshua. Watch your Fox News. I saw a lot of Glenn Beck posters out there and I like them. Look up the dates for the rallies. Pray, go to church, do something. If you know, how, you, you, know you have a special talent, put it to use. Don't let it go to waste. This country needs you now. this tonight. You can make a difference. We need you now. We need it. Let your voice be heard. Even if you just affect one person's life, that person will affect another person. You've made a difference. You've paid it forward. My favorite verse, Philippians 4.13 says this, you can do through th all things through Christ who strengthens you. put it into action. Here's how. You, every single one of you out there, and there are a lot of you out there, you have a voice. Use it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God. Woo. Ari's on fire. I'll tell you what, she scared the crap out of me, man. How do, you, how do you do crap in sign language? <laughs> oh, okay, makes sense. <laughs> All right, uh, check this out. <laughs>